A lot of overcast. Looks like rain, but I think we'll be a okay for today. Biggest chance of rain, of course, on Saturday. We're up to 40 percent. Your extended forecast not looking too bad as far as temperatures. Cooler temperatures, that is. So just enjoy. Getting ready to head over to the kitchen, where of course Jeff Matthews is going to be cooking. But hmm, what's for breakfast, Jeff? Hey, good morning. And again, I apologize for having drinks, uh, personal employee drinks, in the food prep area back here. Uh, hey, we're having. Uh, a couple different pork chops. Uh, you know what? I seasoned some pork chops about four different ways. I've got a charcoal steak and rub seasoning, a burgundy wine, which there's really no wine in it there. Uh, you got a Kansas City steak from my little brother Jeremy in uh, Louisiana. Then I brought out a, a Tony's Creole seasoning. I, I seasoned up two pork chops a couple different ways. Over on the side, I just pulled out of the oven the uh, sweet potatoes. I was having a craving last night about 9:30 as I was doing a little grocery shopping. I have some sweet potatoes and then we've got some uh, cabbage here and that, that, that's come along pretty good. What I did was actually fry some bacon, fry about a pound of bacon. It seems like I've been frying bacon here every week, but I like bacon and fat people. So uh, that, that seems to work out. So I took the bacon, pulled, the, uh, pulled the, uh, the liquids out of the bacon, put the bacon back in, chopped up a head of cabbage right there, put a little uh, sesame seed in it. I also put a little bit of mustard seed in it, salt and pepper, and that, that'll be ready to go here in a few minutes. And over on the side, it looks like the first couple of pork chops are ready to go. And there'll be a little variety over here, so whenever we get these, we'll cut them up and let you try something a little bit different. So, and, and as always, anyone is welcome in the kitchen when I'm in the kitchen. So if everybody would like to move to the kitchen, you can, or you can stay on the set over there. Zach, if you'd like to come on up just for a second. Thank you, Zach. As Zach comes to the kitchen, I want everybody to feel, I want everybody to feel welcome that, er, that everybody's in big in this kitchen right here. You're welcome to be here, and I'm glad you made it. Thanks, Thank Zach. Thank you, really appreciate So uh, over to you, Gloria. Ready. Still with you. She's ready. That's right. It's good to have Alan Cruzy back in the studio this morning. All right. It smells good. Hey, we got our chops. Usually cabbage stinks up a place. <laughs> <laughs> we got our chops chopping over here. <laughs> We're getting so, there. Looking good here. Uh, up. Drink time. Bye guess we'll have a little. Cheers. Guess we'll have a little toast here this morning. Mm. Oh boy, that's really, it's really sparkling this morning. Thank you, Seth. Thank you for letting me join you with this. You're welcome. You want me to get her out of the kitchen? <laughs> no, no, she's more than welcome. I just had to bring a little. Hey. We don't, you know, I hate to bring a little wine to the kitchen. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, look, looks like things are looking good days. this morning. It could be. Is it gonna rain today? Mm -mm. No rain. That's good because we get. You might we'll get... see an isolated shower, but nothing major. You don't think it's going to rain in Eva today, do you? I don't think it's going to. No, rain in good because my buddy Monty Bennett. I've got his roof completely torn off. <laughs> We're putting it back together this morning, so it's going to be looking good. You better this morning. hurry up and get on that. <laughs> it's all going to be good. Hey, listen, I've got the last three pork chops uh, cooking in here. Okay. I just put a little bit of uh, olive oil in here to get that going. I didn't want a lot of vegetable oil. Make it really. Uh, greasy this morning. I wanted something really fresh tasting. I've got the sweet potatoes going over here. I actually baked those. You can actually take those, put them in the microwave for about eight minutes, flip them over for about four minutes, and then one, once you have that, that done, uh, wrap them in a little foil just to keep the heat. Over on the side, I've got uh, a little bit of brown sugar. I've got some cinnamon Good and butter. Just kind of make them up the way you want. The uh, last of the pork chops will be done here in about a minute, minute and a half. And it should be fantastic. So I'm looking right. forward to that. Well, I want to invite someone into the kitchen, Miss Rainey. Can I say Miss Rainey, Miss Valgo's grandma? <laughs> Come on up here. And it I don't mind be... her coming into the kitchen, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it's great. The you more the merrier. Everybody's been teasing, and some say, because uh, Amy kicked me out of the kitchen, which is fine. I don't mind not being in the kitchen ever. Come on over here, Gail. Val, but, so it was okay. But I just want to say, it has to be a wonderful, wonderful feeling to have such a young uh, artist in the family. Oh, it really does. We're so proud of him. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. And don't forget, let me grab this right here. This is going to be on the T-shirt, correct, Val? Is that right? On the T-shirt for Art on the Square. So get your T-shirts. And, of course, if you see any of the artists there, especially this little one painting his little heart out, get out there and buy something from all of them. Keep them going. But there's going to be a lot of different artists out there, too. But 
be sure to go by and see my favorite one and tell him he's doing great and encourage him. Good job, Val. Look, it looks like a little tie for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> that straightened up right there. It's my guitar tie. It does. That's fantastic. Covering your mic. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations again. And Mac so and uh, Suzanne, I'm sure his parents are very proud, too. All right. Well, we're about to eat, I guess, here in just a few minutes. I've so got these. Uh, I'll have these breakfast pork chops ready for you here in just a second here. I'm going to go ahead and make my final little turn there. and. All we'll right. be ready to go with that. Well, tomorrow, let's see who all's on the show. Um, uh, Rick Mould will be here with Athens uh, University talking about the Fiddler's Convention. Uh, I know Alan Coleman should be returning. They returned from that Dallas game. Who else is here on Friday? We're also going to be next week. Buzz will be on following Friday talking about the cemetery walk, I believe, that takes place. So a lot of things get going on. The show's about to get fuller and fuller. This is just that time of year. So get out and enjoy today. More cooks, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Thanks, All right. <laughs> and Shane Lewis, don't forget, if you have any problem with your roof, give them a call. And also, not only that, but they also do remodeling windows. You do it all? We're over in Athens right, right now on Lisa Drive. I think if you went down Lisa Drive, you see a couple of signs in the yard. It's fantastic. It lo looking really good over there. So. I saw David Sharp had a picture on Facebook of an extremely steep roof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was tough. Be that careful was, uh, out there. That's right. All right. Well, we're about to get out of here on this Thursday morning. Just, you know, like I said, keep an umbrella in the back seat of the car just in case you're the lucky one to see some rain. But it looks like Saturday is definitely going to rain. So hopefully we'll let you know about Art on the Square if they make that decision tomorrow where it's going to be. But if you don't see anything on the square, just go to the gymnasium. It's easy as that. All right. Well, thank you for all being with us this morning. Have a wonderful day. Seatbelt. Bye.